let's go with the next plate and in this case the ones in the forearm we will repeat exactly the same steps we did before but now that these plates are joined and let's say they are smaller it could be a little easier the first thing is to use the dark color to start generating the shadows Let's mark the cavities and the scratches. Mm, there are some pieces that I can paint. Let's use quickly the auto group to these pieces to separate them. Uh, let's hide what we don't need. We hide what we don't need and now we can paint. And this way, one by one, we will paint each of the plates that compound this part of the armor. These scratches up here. Okay, the first part is already done. What we are going to do now is to paint some occlusions. The shadow that generates because a plate is above the other, we will paint it. Well, this is what I say, some plates are not easily painted because there are others very close to them. In these cases, we just need to hide what we don't need and then paint. Let's use also these spikes. We also will generate the occlusion on them. Here where they connect, there should be a little shadow, a mark. And that's what we are going to do. Up here. And we finish this part. Well, the first part of the piece is getting done. Here you can see the marks. Let's give it some stains. We will generate some wear using the alphas of concrete type. We invert it, hide it, and now we can start to stain a little the plates.
In case that some plates didn't allow you to paint easily, simply hide the pieces and you and now you can paint the stains. For example here, this piece I cannot paint because of the pieces that are below. Same this one. Okay, we already got the first stains. Let's make some general stains without alpha. But let's try, they are very soft, so it doesn't lose the tones that we generate with the dirt. Let's paint some more stains. We will do some extra stains because I see that it needs some more darker strokes. Invert it, hide it, and now we just low the intensity of this brown color. And now we just make the brown color darker. Let's give it a fill object with a low intensity. We have now the piece more stained. And now we go to the next stage, that is to generate the shines. Remember to remove the mask. As I said before, the lines of the shines doesn't need to be continuous and don't need to cover all of the edges, only some areas. A little over here. We go with the next plate. The same. If you can paint, simply hide what you don't need. Let's paint in this wheel. Here are this edge.
and important too, something in the scratches. And this way, one by one, until you finish all of the plates. Well, this top plate has more scratches than the others, so we need to mark some of these scratches. Let's mark the cavities we left and that will be all for this video.